Hey, this is Zach from Gamefront, here with a walkthrough for Dungeon Siege 3. This video will cover the side quest, Mediations. This is part one of two. to the Stonebreast Jail. Do you have business with the incarcerated? I'd like to speak to the Krug prisoner. Fiddlewick asked me to appraise the situation and determine the Krug's fate. Very well. It is Meister Fiddlewick's prerogative to entrust such decisions to strangers rather than automated constables with decades of experience. Please note that the Krug has been in prison for its own safety. It is highly unpopular with citizens, especially those who own pitchforks. Grr. How did you wind up behind these bars? Grr. Grr. Are you being treated well? <coughs> Sorry about that. Seems the rattle in my lungs gets worse every year. You were asking about my treatment here? Just fine, thank you. The automated constable here, Kerr, <coughs> tends to my comestibles and keeps away the rabble. You're pretty well spoken for a Krug. A Krug? Kerr. <coughs> yeah, I guess that's what people think I am. I'm human. Just some ill twist of fate made me hideous and homely. If you're not a Krug, why are you locked up? I'm tired of being harassed and assaulted. This time I decided I'd let them think I'm a monster and keep me locked up. Kerr! <laughs> I've thought about getting out of here, but I have nowhere to go. I'm content to just stay here and daydream. I have to decide whether you stay or go free. <laughs> well, I suppose I've committed no crime, unless being hideous is illegal. But if it's all the same to you, I'm safe here. Let them go on thinking I'm a Krug, it won't hurt my feelings. If you let me go, have someone escort me out of the city at least. Welcome to the Stonebridge Jail. Do you have business with the incarcerated? I've come to a decision on the Krug. I will enact whatever outcome you deem appropriate. Please enunciate carefully. He should stay in the cell until space is needed. The locals will just try to kill him. Very well. The Krug will remain in protective custody. Your innovative solutions clearly surpass the abilities of automated constables. Thank you. It's safe in here. I wasn't certain that the Legion had truly returned, but after witnessing your resolution of the plight of the oppressed Krog proletariat, it caused a great imbalance in my sanguine humors. Fairly had me bursting with them. <laughs> now then, we have much to accomplish. Shall we get started? What do you mean by we have much to do? Who exactly are you? Yes, we. First person plural, in this case collective. I could lend you this excellent book on grammar, but wait, I'm forgetting my manners. I am Reinhard Manx, scholar, inventor, and sartorial adventurer. I have degrees in advanced thaumaturgical studies and non-Goblinian geometry. Naturally, I also have a grounding in the classics, but more importantly to you, I am descended from the Grand Mage Merrick, a legionnaire through and through. That would make him the last of Merrick's line. He must have great potential as a mage. Well, needless to say, it's been my dream to reunite with other children of the Tenth Legion. Uh, second only to the dream of a thaumaturgical waistcoat that can change its color and cut to match the latest season's fashions. If you have Legion blood, why didn't you join us at the gathering? Oh, you mean the invitation calculated to lure all the Legion descendants into one place? <laughs> you must be joking. That was obviously a trap. One would have to be suicidal, or at least a great buffoon, to walk into that sort of setup. Oh. 
Oh my, do forgive me. I should have realized. I meant no offense, but in any case, no, I regretfully declined when that letter arrived. How have you lived in Stonebridge all this time? I thought this town had a bad history with the Legion. Had I trumpeted my lineage, we would have seen democracy in action. The ballot would have been whether I would be lynched or dissected, but still... I used to dream that the Legion would rise up from the ashes. But I also dream of square circles, so make of that what you will. The people of Stonebridge may have committed a terrible crime against the Legion, but I think it's time to forgive and rebuild. Forgiveness is an old virtue of the Legion. I'd say your heart is in the right place. In all my studies of time, I found that you can coil it, twist it, bend it, but it always unwinds the same way. Hatred can't undo the past, so why hold a grudge? Why bother defending Ebb if you can't accept that its people will make mistakes? And of course, forgiveness facilitates the open exchange of ideas. It's hard to have a symposium with a lynch mob. You said you were a scholar, but have you seen any combat? I'm hardly the mage that my great-grandfather was, but I was best in my class when it came to channeling and energy manipulation. I may possess a physique best described as suity, but by application of higher non-Goblinian mathematics, I could rip a man in half with a thought. Well, uh, theoretically I could. It's not as though I practice on people. That would be rather rude, and mildly illegal, but mostly rude. We need everyone in the Legion to join forces. Are you with us? Am I with you? Does the thaumaturgical constant Q trend towards infinity for given values of the human soul? The answer is yes, by the way. The Legion needs to stand together, lest we fade into memory. So without further ado, let's be off. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.